So if you're thinking about moving to Queen Creek, Arizona, and you wanna know what are some of the best communities to live in around here, well then today's video is for you. We are gonna be taking a tour of one of the best communities around. This is Legato here in Queen Creek, and we're gonna to be touring a single level stunner of a model home that is sure to please just about any buyer, so stay tuned. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Phoenix, Arizona and the surrounding areas like Queen Creek, Creek, then make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, and also ring that little bell for notifications. That way you will be the first person to know about all the happenings in Phoenix and the surrounding areas. My name is Brian Elder, and I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you, and you, and you, and you, and you, who are thinking about moving to this gorgeous area and enjoying this beautiful lifestyle. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, make sure you reach out to me with a call, text, or email, or you can even do my personal favorite. Go down below and schedule a Zoom call with me and we can get to know each other a little bit better. All of that information and the links are down in the description below. So today at Legato, we are gonna to be touring the Olympus model. This thing is beautiful. It is a single level. It is 3,012 square feet. It is four bedrooms, three bathrooms. It comes with a three car garage. You can upgrade that to a four. You can add a casita. It is super customizable. That's one of the things I love about the homes out here is you can make them just about anything that you want. And this community is just absolutely beautiful. There are walking paths. You can see the lake here behind me. They were having a little party back there at the playground. So there are already people living here. This place isn't just a big patch of dirt. There are some homes that have been built out a couple of years ago. It's a really nice place to live and it's only gonna get better. So let's waste no more time. Let's head inside and check out the Olympus. Okay, here we are, the Olympus. It's got this cool little entryway here. So kind of a little courtyard. So you got little planters over here, some kind of couch chair combo thing and the front door so let's go in and check it out and cool entryway so got some art on the walls of course got a light fixture directly above pretty high ceilings and not super closed off and so we got a hallway that goes down that way the main living area of course out here and then that way over to couple of bedrooms. So let's go check this area out first. So right around the corner we have a nice living area. So like that, beautiful plantation shutters, did the accent wall. So a nice little separate living space for you, for kids, for in-laws, for guests, whoever you want to make this for and then easy access out to the kitchen and main living area right there. So let's go around the corner. We've got a door here that's normally gonna be the garage, but as you can see, sales office. And coming into the laundry room. So we've got washer dryer, lots of space for the cabinets up above, and some more counter space over here with the sink, so very nice. I like the way they did all that. And of course you got your media cabinet here. It's got a little half bath here, which the light is turned off. So just a little pedestal sink and a toilet. And of course we've got a linen closet. And here is the back bedroom. So we got Jack and Jill style. So not the biggest thing in the world. Still like the nice tall ceilings. We got a standard closet. Great big window, I do like that. But as you can see, they just tucked a little twin bed in here. And then you've got the dresser. So if you put a full size bed, you can make it work, but it's gonna be probably a little bit tight. So maybe this is an office in waiting or something, but leads to this full bath. So we've got um, our dual vanity, light fixtures and a big mirror. And then it does have a, that's a, not a pocket door, there's hinges, they just don't have a door on there. And then we've got the toilet 
and a beautifully tiled shower with a window. Always love that. Really nice. All right, well, let's go with the flow. Let's go into this bedroom. And yeah, this feels a little bit better. So we've got room for a little desk there, full-size bed. ceiling fan, and there is also a nightstand tucked over here too, so that's always good. And then again, just your standard closet. Alright, let's backtrack. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. So there's your living area over there. All right, so as we come in, we've got this beautiful living area with tons of built-ins on this wall. Nice big slider and windows and a great looking kitchen. So, really like this. And tucked around this corner is a little butler's pantry. So you got cabinets, counters, and then the pantry right in here. So this is really nice. Big, spacious. Shelves going a long ways up there, so we have long arms and are tall and or a good step ladder. And then we've got a beautiful island. Got the waterfall granite quartz going all the way down. Room for these bar stools as well as a couple nice little pants. Very cool. And over to here to our right, we have the dining nook, so plenty of room for that big round table. May not look big on the video, but trust me, there's six chairs there, so uh, plenty of space. And we've got a chandelier, and again, nice and bright, lots of windows. Like that a lot. And then there is that bedroom that we just came out. All right, so back here we've got more cabinets and counters. Got the microwave built in here. Don't quite go all the way to the ceiling, but it still looks really good. And again, the ceilings are pretty tall. Nice backsplash. They do have the gourmet built-in cooktop, so that's always a good feature. Got the hood vent. More cabinets. Double oven over there. And let's take check this out. So again, love the cabinets here and great big farmhouse sink. Look at that thing. Really nice. And of course we got the dishwasher and a true double oven. So those are uh, not being stuffed with the microwave. That is an actual double oven, which is always good. Yeah, really like this house. Legato is a beautiful community. This place is really popular. They are just getting ready to open up their second phase of this Summit collection. So here is a cook closet. So there's more to come of this community. Some more cabinets here. And that leads into a casita. So as lots of, as I said, lots of options. Um, for casitas in this community. These floor plans are really customizable. So they obviously have this just set up as the little living area. And then around the corner here, we've got our full bath. So single vanity with the mirror, the toilet, and a nice looking walk-in shower. And again, big mirror, or mirror, window. Always like that, makes it nice and bright in there. And a really good sized bedroom. So we've got a, I think that's a queen, not quite sure. But plenty of room for any size bed. Like the, like the walls, ceiling fan. Standard closet, sometimes they'll put a walk-in if it's a casita, but not in this case. But plenty of room for a big dresser and more if you need it. So anyway, always nice to have these casitas. If you've got in-laws, 
elderly parents, kids who need a break, who need a space to stay with you for a while, and or your guests. Great space. Okay, so coming in here to the master. So we've got our vanity. Great big tub, that's kind of cool. And then the second vanity is over here. With the mirror. Got the water closet in here. And then directly behind me is the shower. And this is a great big entryway into what is going to be a beautiful walk-in shower. So full tile, not the glass that you see on some of these which honestly I'm a little 50-50 on, so I love the big shower. Um, don't love how dark it gets in those things, but at the same time I think they're a lot easier to clean because you don't have all that glass. And pretty good size closet. Those shelves go way up there. So there's a lot of room in this thing. Very nice. Beautiful looking bathroom. And the tub, I usually don't love the standalone tub, but they uh, they kind of made it work the way they tucked it in the corner there. And you still get the walk-in uh, shower too, so you get the best of both worlds. Which usually it's an either or, but not here. All right, so here's the bedroom. We got the dresser and a great big king bed. Lots of windows, lots of light. And look at that ceiling, isn't that cool? Love that, love the detail. The light fixture is kind of cool too. And then looking out over towards our neighbor. Got some nice big windows. Looking at it in the backyard. And this is a beautiful home. All right, so last but not least, Go check that backyard out. A nice looking pool, so we'll take a look at that. So just a regular slider. A lot of times you'll see the models set up with one of those huge sliders, but this is just your standard everyday sliding glass door. But good size cover under here. I would say you're probably about. 20 feet by 10 feet uh, extended out from the house, so room for chairs and a table, whatever you want back here. And then I gotta put the sunglasses on because it is bright on this travertine in a really nice looking pool. Got the dual waterfall, always a good feature. And then the turf and some chairs over here. So as you can see, these lots are pretty generous. Uh, they're all gonna be right around 10,000-ish uh, in this community. So good size lots, plenty of space. This one backs up to a trail, you can kinda see. Got the pool equipment stashed over there. And yeah, I just always like it when the lot size is a little bit bigger, you can see. Not too close to the wall there, plenty of space. You're not gonna be able to reach over and touch your neighbor's home. Let's go check out this side too. Yeah, plenty of space. You could put some storage over there if you really wanted to. And yeah, great looking home. lot to like about this community and this floor plan. Let's make sure that shuts behind us. Get one last little quick look at the main living area here of the beautiful Olympus plan. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our tour of the Olympus. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I really love that floor plan and think that there's a lot to like for a lot of different people. Thank you again for watching. Appreciate it as always. If you are interested in learning more about this community, then please contact me. My information is down in the link below. I would be honored to help you with your home search. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you again soon on another model home tour.